On March 7, Mount Spohr, an 11,000-foot-tall stratovolcano that sits 81 miles west of Anchorage, began releasing elevated levels of gas from its summit and a side vent that last erupted in 1992. These emissions are the latest development in a period of unrest this volcano has been experiencing since April 2024, when it started shuddering with small earthquakes, the first clue that new magma was rising toward the volcano's vents. That seismic activity has continued through to today, and with the recent increase in volcanic gas emissions, scientists say Mount Spohr could blow in a matter of weeks or months. The eruption would most likely occur at the Crater Peak side vent, and it would be explosive, Matt Haney, scientist in charge at the Alaska Volcano Observatory AVO, at U.S. Geological Survey USGS. This event would spew multiple plumes of ash rising as high as 50,000 feet into the air, Haney said. Each ash-producing explosive episode would last three to four hours, and the resulting cloud could blanket the city of Anchorage and other nearby communities in a thick layer of dust. The eruption would also produce destructive mudslides and avalanches volcanic debris racing down the volcano's side over 200 miles per hour, but fortunately, there are not any communities in that radius that would be affected, Haney said. The USGS has the volcano under advisory, meaning it is exhibiting signs of elevated unrest. We have been tracking this for about a year, Haney said between April and February, Mount Spore exhibited three key signs of a forthcoming eruption. Increased seismic activity, squelling the volcano's surface and snow and ice melt near the summit. Last month, the AVO said the volcano's activity was equally as likely to die down as it was to lead to an eruption. But on March 7, scientists flew over Mount Spore to measure the gases rising from its two vents, for the first time since the heightened activity began, they detected gas emissions that were above background, Haney said. They flew over again on March 11 to check their measurements and confirm that the volcano was producing higher than average levels of gas. With a new measurement of gas emissions above backgrounds, that led us to conclude that an eruption like the two recent ones was the most likely scenario, Haney said. Mount Spore last erupted in 1992 and 1953, and both events were produced by the Crater Peak side vent. Haney and his colleagues estimate that the volcano's summit crater hasn't erupted in the last 5,000 years. So when Mount Spore blows again, it will most likely be from the side vent, he said. In June 1992, the Crater Peak flank vent awoke from nearly 40 years of dormancy, and erupted after 10 months of elevated seismic activity, according to the USGS. This event covered the city of Anchorage, home to nearly 300,000 people, in an eighth of an inch of ash. The skies darkened in the middle of the day due to the enormous cloud of dust and gas, and the city's airport was forced to shut down for 20 hours. A volcanic tremor is a longer stretch of ongoing shaking that can persist for minutes to days. It occurs when magma beneath the volcano begins rising toward the surface as the eruption grows imminent. And back in 1992, Mount Spore was rocked by a volcanic tremor about three weeks before the June eruption. So this type of seismic activity could signal that the volcano will blow in just a few weeks.